and welcome back. I have been absent from YouTube for actually not that long, just a little over a week, but I've missed two of my usual upload dates and it feels rubbish I've missed you guys. Basically, I've been ill, I had the flu, and when I say the flu, I mean the proper flu. I've never had the proper flu before um, and it wiped me out for like a week um, and it was pretty horrible, but I'm not going to talk about that because that's really boring. People talking about when they're ill is pretty boring. So I am back today with a haul for you all that I meant to film over a week ago, um, but obviously got ill. So I have actually ended up collecting a few more bits than were originally going to be in the haul, which is good news to me. Anyway, um, it is mainly from Boots, so I will start with the Boots stuff. So if you guys watched one of my videos from the past couple of weeks with my friend Amelia, where we're talking about drugstore dupes, if you haven't seen it yet, um, it'll be on my channel, so if you go to my channel page, it'll be right up there, because it was, like, a couple of videos ago I uploaded it. Anyway, after making that video with her, there was a load of stuff I wanted to try that she had recommended in that video. So I went to Boots, mainly in hunt of two things. The first thing was the Charles Worthington Volume and Bounce Texturizing Spray, which is meant to be the drugstore dupe for the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray, which is ridiculously, like, £40 expensive. Um, this, I think, is maybe $7.99 or something like that, but it was buy, I think it was maybe $6.99 and then buy two for £8. So I actually ended up getting um, a mask from the same line. I actually really like the Charles Worthington Salon at Home um, like balm mask that I have that's like a kind of like a solid oil consistency and you melt it. I love the smell of this line and I didn't know, not all of it smells the same but this one smells really really good, the same as the other mask and I'm excited to try this, it says Moisture Seal Mineral Hair Rescue Mask Deep Nourishment, Intensive Moisturisation and Hair Revitalisation I'm always looking for hair masks because I dye my hair it's not, I don't dye it a lot actually, but it's not naturally this blonde. So it does get quite dried out, um, and obviously I curl it and straighten it quite a lot, so it does need a bit of TLC because it does get damaged. Um, but yes, that was the other product I got for my two for eight pounds from Charles Worthington. So I'm excited to try both of those. And the other main product that I wanted to get on Amelia's recommendation was the L'Oreal Lumi Magique Base or Pure Light Primer, which looks like this. I do actually like the packaging, it's very slim and it has rose gold. Um, L'Oreal actually had a, I think it was buy one get one half price or three for two or something like that, so I ended up getting a load of stuff. Um, partly just I got a bit carried away because my Lumi Magique concealer, like a highlighter type concealer pen, which is basically like Touche Chocolat, had run out, so I got a new one of those, um, which is exciting. And then I also went for the foundation as well, I thought I'm just going to try it because I really, really like the concealer. The primer's meant to be good. I thought, hey, why not get all three and try the foundation? And I haven't even opened it yet, so I cannot pass judgment, but I will let you guys know what I think of that. And then I got three other things. Um, these lip products are 100% thanks to It's Judy Time for doing a review on them and me getting suckered in because they look really, really good. They are. I don't even know what they're called. Is that bad? They don't have any labels on them. L'Oreal, Paris... Uh, uh, what are these called? I'm gonna put an annotation of their exact name, but they are basically the new kind of liquid lipstick type things. They are a kind of oil texture. Um, and I saw It's Judy Time did a whole review on them and did swatches of every colour. Um, so I thought I'd pick a few of them up because they looked really nice. So I got Molto Mauve and Nude Ballet. Um, which one of them is a nude colour, one of them is a kind of pinky nude, like your lips, but slightly darker colour. i put it on now, actually. I do have a lip gloss on already. Um, but yeah, they're really, really smooth, and they taste really good. And I like the texture, it's kind of, it's really smooth. I don't know, I'll let you guys know how I get on with these, but I think I'm going to really like them, and potentially pick up some of the brighter colours, maybe. If I have this all over my teeth now, excuse me guys. And then the last thing I got from the L'Oreal, what do they call it, like stand I guess, um, is the Volume Million Lashes Noir Black, which is like the blackest um, of the colours, I think. Um, I liked the original one of this. Actually I really liked the one that had a slight hint of green, you know when they did the ones that suit your eye colour. Um, and I thought, I was looking for a new mascara and I thought I'm going to give this a try and see how I get on, because for some reason recently my eyelashes have just been feeling really short and that's not normally a problem I have because I have quite naturally quite long eyelashes anyway and I don't know, they've just been feeling a bit rubbish recently, you know, when you just can't really make your mascara work the right way for you I don't know, maybe that's me going mad, but 
Um, yeah, so I picked that up as well. And then I got a couple, oh, I actually got a brush too from um, Real Techniques, which I've heard so much about this line. Obviously, it's um, Sam from Pixie Woo's line. And I've never really tried anything from them. And I was like, I need a new foundation brush. I'm going to give Real Techniques a go because I haven't tried, I haven't even tried one brush from them. So I'm excited to try that. I know lots and lots of people talk about them and say how great they are. So yes, I got the stippling brush and it's pink and I'm excited to try it. I've been using the same foundation brush or like, I obviously have more than one foundation brush, but I keep going back to the same one that I've used for years and it is Gemma Kids, like flat top, kind of kabuki style brush. And I just love it, I think it's brilliant, but she's discontinued though, and my one's getting a bit old and manky now, because I've used it like every day for the last three years. Um, but it just, yeah, this I thought this might be a good alternative to it. Anyway, I'm gonna try that out. And then last but not least, I picked up a couple of skincare items. The first one is the Garnier Skin Naturals Micellar Cleansing Water. Um, I got this because I thought, hey, that looks like a dupe for Bioderma. I know there is a L'Oreal dupe for Bioderma, but I thought I'm going to try this one because everyone talks about that one and I haven't seen anyone talk about this one, although they probably have. Um, I'm going to try it out. So, yes, yeah, same colour scheme, same kind of bottle. Um, we will see what happens with this. I've been getting really, really sensitive eyes recently as well, and even to the point where... Um, like face wipes are like just quite irritating my eyes talking of face wipes I did also get some face wipes. I got the botanics cleansing face wipes all bright um, for Even suitable for sensitive skin in the hope that they'll be good for sensitive skin Normally I do properly cleanse and don't use face wipes in the evening to take my makeup off and stuff um, But I usually use them like in the morning if I've got a little bit of mascara still on my lashes Just to get rid of it or whatever and I don't want to like fully get all in my eyes to cleanse it all out um, but yeah, I have been getting kind of sensitive problems with my eyes and we'll see if either of these work in not stinging my eyes. Anyway, that is everything I got from Boots and all of the makeup y type stuff. I also went into another couple of shops and this is all like randomly over the past like couple of weeks when I've been kind of here and there. Um, I picked up a little outfit from Zara and I say a little outfit because I bought these to wear together and I'm not sure what else I would wear them with each other but um, does that make sense? What else I would wear them with individually? Um, but I picked up these little faux leather um, shorts. They are shorts. I think they're called like a squat or something like that. You know when it's a short but it looks like a skirt from the front. They look a little shiny under my lights but they actually are a very conv convincing fake leather. Sometimes with fake leather I would rather just not wear it because it looks really obviously fake. I'd rather just wear material. Um, but this actually looks like nice quality leather when it's not being shined on by my lights um, and it has little pockets I really like this not normally the thing that I would ever ever buy or would be flattering for my frame but I just thought I'm gonna try them on and they were actually fitted me really well um, I thought they would be quite small they are a size small um, and I thought they would be quite um, tight I always have this thing with shorts I just don't like having that wedgy feeling it's just it's not good is it um, but these were actually quite I don't know, they just fitted me quite well. And then I also bought um, a little top to go with it. This is a kind of silky number. Um, and it looks like this, which I thought would be good for spring. It actually doesn't look very nice on camera. I don't think I like that as much on camera as I do in real life. Because in real life, this, the co all the colours seem very muted except for the yellow. And the yellow like really, really stands out. But I just thought it was quite pretty and it looks quite nice with the leather shorts as well. Bit of a departure for me, not something I would normally wear, but I got excited about those. And I also stopped into Primark and I bought one thing from Primark. Is that a record? It probably is. I was there with Mike um, and he doesn't really like Primark very much because it's a bit rough and ready for him. I think he likes a nicer, more relaxed shopping experience, as do most men, I think. Um, anyway. So I didn't, I didn't, I had about 10 seconds before he said I want to go and I managed to get these pyjamas. My mum actually bought these a couple of weeks ago and she's currently travelling around Vietnam, um, midlife crisis. No, she is travelling with her friends which is so awesome, I wish I could go with her. Um, but yeah, she bought these before she went because she spotted them and she thought that it would stop um, potential mosquitoes biting her legs because they are tight at the bottom, which I thought was funny. My mum just comes up with these funny things sometimes um, instead of mozzie spray. Um, she would use mozzie spray as well, but like 
she's just funny like that. Anyway, so she showed me these and I was like, they are so cute, I really want some. So when I was going past yesterday, I thought, you know what, I'm going to see if they have them and they still had them. They are black pyjama bottoms with little dotty elephants on them and then they have pockets and then they have dotty bits here and then they have a pink bow and then they have the ankles. I thought these were really cute and they are quite like comfortable feeling, like they're quite light. And I got them in a 10 to 12 so hopefully they'll be a bit loose. I always like my pyjamas to be a size up than I would normally buy because so I'm normally buy like 8 to 10, probably 10 in pyjamas. Um, but I like, yeah, I like loose pyjamas because there's nothing worse than having pyjamas that are too tight. Um, so yes, I got those. And then last but not least, I went to John Lewis and I've been looking for a storage solution for my jewellery for a really long time and they've had these for probably a couple of months now in John Lewis and I keep coming back to them and looking at them um, and I finally just bit the bullet and bought them because my jewellery is a total mess. I'm like totally addicted to statement necklaces as you may be able to tell I wear them in like every single video um, and it's really hard to find a way to store them. Anyway, I ended up going for one of these little things. Um, it's a jewellery holder but it's kind of, it's actually quite basic um, and the reason why I didn't buy it initially is because it's quite expensive, it's £20 for this and I was kind of like, I don't know if it's really worth it but I just spent the next like few weeks looking and keeping an eye out for stuff and I couldn't really find any other alternatives so um, I thought this is pretty so I would get one and I so I got this one for um, necklaces and then I got a smaller one for bracelets I'm probably going to have to have some kind of dish situation as well because I do have a lot of jewellery and it's not so much um, like hundreds of necklaces, it's just they're all really big so um, I don't know how many I'll fit on here but we will see. Um, that is the big one, I'm not going to get the little one out because it's exactly the same but just a bit smaller. Um, and that is my new jewellery um, holder, let me guys know if you want to see like a jewellery collection or something once I've organised it all. I've had a few requests to do it in the past but I've just not wanted to show you guys the mess that is my jewellery storage because it just isn't pretty and the other day I had a real like organisation and laid everything out ready to kind of restore it so yes I would be up for doing that if you guys would want to see it let me know in the comment section below and that is it for this video again I'm sorry I've been gone um, and I'm looking forward to getting back into the swing of my uploading Monday Friday kind of schedule again I've missed you guys um, and I hope you've had a good week and I will see you very soon in my next video bye guys it's actually really fun but I totally got rained on on the way home and I have the world's frizziest hair so it's a perfect timing to show you all how to do it. Sid was actually really nice.